Hey guys, Vaping Brew here. I am here to talk to you today about a local craft brew by Helen Blazes. Now they're located in downtown Melbourne. Uh, I went in there for the first time today. I've actually had their beer at uh, the Space Coast Craft Beer Festival in February. Absolutely fell in love with it. It took me God, forever to get actually into the brewery. It's uh, you know, financial things and stuff. But I went in, I got a growler of their gingerbread stout, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a gingerbread stout. Stout that tastes like gingerbread. So, there's that. Now on the website, um, they do have uh, where they describe the beer a little bit. I didn't see the alcohol by volume on it, but when they filled the growler, they actually wrote down on it uh, the fill date, which was today, 6-13. Uh, the brew, which is the gingerbread stout, and the ABV, which is 8.5% alcohol by volume. Um, if you're ever in the area, I would suggest going to downtown Melbourne and checking out Helen Blazes. Pick up a flight or a growler. Uh, they have the 32 and this is the 64 ounce growler. Now, I don't know how much that the 32 uh, ounce growlers uh, cost, but this was, I believe, $25.50 before taxes, and that is with the growler that you get to keep filled up. Uh, I think that after tax it was like 27 bucks or something. I just gave the guy 30 and was like, yeah, keep the change. But, <clears throat> so first off on this beer, uh, as you can see the color, it's very dark brown. I think a dark brown and copper color to it. It has a little bit of a tan head. When I poured it, the head was actually about a quarter to a half inch thick. Uh, it was tan. The nose on the beer, now first off you get hit with the gingerbread like right away and then you kind of have like that chocolatey nutty aroma from uh, the darker malts that they use for the stout. Um, but it is very gingerbread. I mean it's uh, mid-June now and I kind of feel like to be about Halloween right now, so which I wouldn't mind. I love Halloween. Halloween's like the best. Now the mouthfeel on the beer is a bit it's about medium. It's a medium mouthfeel on the beer. It's not super heavy. It's not watery in the least. It's pretty well carved. It's not like gonna like carve up, up in your nostrils and shit, but it's a very well carved beer. Um and the taste is absolutely fantastic. I mean, you have the gingerbread throughout. I mean, the first sip that you take, you have gingerbread. Come, like, the aftertaste is gingerbread, followed by kind of like the roasted chocolate, um, the roasted chocolate malts that a lot of the stouts have. Uh, it's all around an excellent beer. There's really no alcohol burn to it. I know it is an 8.5% and they do tend to have that kind of a burn. Uh, they're, it's really not there. Um, but yeah, if you ever get a chance, check out Helen Blazes. They're absolutely great. Uh, like I said, first time I went in there tonight, I will be going back and having this refilled, probably with the gingerbread stout, because this is one of my favorite brews, and I actually went in today, and they just put it on tap like minutes before I came in there, according to the bartender. So. Definitely go in there, check them out, especially if you're in the Melbourne area and you like craft beer. Maybe you've been to Lost Shirt or Intra, which I am planning on going over there, maybe getting a growler or two from those guys as well, and refu uh, reviewing a few of their beers. So we'll check it out. Um, overall, my impression of the beer is absolutely, uh, if I had to rate it, give it about a 9. Um, I would like to see a little bit more of a mouthfeel to it, make it a little bit heavier maybe. But, yeah, you can't really go wrong with that. That's absolutely delicious. So, definitely go check them out. Grab a growler or two. Get a flight and just kind of hang out. Talk to them. They're actually really knowledgeable, nice people in there. So, um, in a couple of weeks, I think when I get paid next, I'm going to go and get a beer to brew myself. Uh, it's going to be a coffee porter uh, utilizing... Uh, Probably a little bit of honey. 
I'm planning on trying to do almost like a honey glazed donut dunked in coffee in a beer. It might be pretty good. So if you guys want to see me do a video on that, hit the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and just leave it in the comments. Say, you know, hey, do it. Hey, don't. You're a douche or something like that. I don't know. Tell me how you feel. Um, what can I do better in these videos? Uh, what do you like about my videos? So, yeah, later. I guess. This is the first video I've done in a while, so. Can only get better, right? Right? The beer's really good, though. Fuck.